rough day, my lovelies? Let's do some yoga then. We'll start in our child's pose and we can decide which child's pose we need right now. Do we prefer the knees apart? Do we prefer the knees together? And we can let those hips start to sink back. Forehead can touch the floor if that's comfortable. We'll take a moment here for three deep breaths, that deep inhale. And that deep exhale. Repeating that deep inhale. And deep exhale. One more time at our own pace. And then as we're ready, we'll find a stretch along the left side of our back. For some of us, that will involve walking the hands over towards the right. If we find this movement over towards the right is not comfortable, we stay in center and we just slide out that left hand a little bit more than the right. So we're finding the stretch we need here. Maybe we're even noticing that stretch. And then we're noticing what happens as we inhale. What happens as we exhale? One more time, that inhale. And exhale. As we're ready, we'll find that on the other side. If we walk the hands over towards the right, we'll walk them over towards the left. And again, if we find walking over towards the left not comfortable, we slide out that right hand a little farther than the left hand. We find the stretch we need, the stretch that's constructive. And again, what happens to it as we inhale? As we exhale. One more time, that inhale. And that exhale. We'll come back to center, we'll find our child's pose. One more breath here. And then we can come up to our tabletop position, just coming all the way back up, readjusting those hands, readjusting the knees, finding a few cat-cow movements here. We can let that belly drop down as the tailbone and gaze lift. And then we can start to round the back, letting that hit, tailbone and gaze drop, maybe the head drops. We'll repeat that at our own pace now. We can let the belly drop down. And we can let that back round up. Adding in the breath, and today might be a letting that belly drop down and inhale. And then letting that back arch up on the exhale. Maybe the belly softens on the inhale as it drops. And we just find that stretch we need through the back on the exhale. One more time at our own pace. And slowly but surely we'll come back towards table. Great time to check in if we want to roll out the wrists. This is a great time to roll out those wrists. If we like to stretch the hands out, just one at a time, placing the top of the hand down. And we'll come into what is called twisted table, eventually finding threading the needle. So with twisted table, we can start on that left side and we're gonna start with what's called the archer's twist. We take that left elbow, we let it draw directly up as if we're about to shoot that arrow into the ground. Maybe we continue to let it draw back or maybe the whole arm extends up to us. As we're ready, we find twisted table. That hand comes underneath the belly. We twist, we reach. We begin to find our flow. We'll start to bring ourselves back up, first the elbow, then maybe the hand. As we're ready, we're gonna twist, then we reach. One more time we do that, we unwind. We feed through and we gently lower down. We lower down the forearm, shoulder, side of the head. Great time to check in if we're getting tension in the neck. We might wanna put a pillow or maybe a couple blocks or a couple books underneath us, something to elevate the head. We'll take a few breaths here. And as we do so, maybe we're checking in with that left hand. Is it hovering? Do we find we've got tension through the fingers? This is very common. Can we take in a deep inhale, almost imagining like our breath could travel to that hand? Exhaling, just letting that relax. Maybe we do that a few more times, that deep inhale. Exhale, what can that exhale help relax? And maybe we try that one more time at our own pace. As we're ready, we're coming out slowly, but surely we'll lift. Maybe that left hand comes up one more time. Eventually everything can come down again. Do we like to roll out the wrists? Do we like to do those gentle stretches? 
and then we can try that on the other side. We're taking that right elbow, it lifts directly up as if we're about to shoot that arrow and maybe we continue to let it draw back and we get the stretch through the chest we need, maybe the whole arm extends. As we're ready, we feed that hand underneath, we twist our table, we reach. We'll unwind, that hand will come all the way back up. Exhaling, we'll twist, feeding through. One more time, we'll do that, inhaling up. Exhaling to feed through, and then we gently lower down, forearm, shoulder, side of the head. Again, checking in, do we need something to elevate our head? We are asymmetrical creatures, it will be different on this side. We give ourselves a moment. Again, is that right hand hovering? Can it relax down? Maybe we use a few exhales to just let things relax. We might even like to scan the body. Can the exhales relax? Maybe the shoulders. Maybe the jaw. Maybe the forehead. As we're ready, we're coming out of that slowly but surely. Maybe one last lift of that arm. We'll come back to center. Again, great time. We like to roll out those wrists. We like to stretch those wrists out. And we'll return back to our child's pose. So again, do we want the knees together? Maybe this time we want the knees apart. We'll let everything shift back and maybe back and down. Forehead can rest on the floor. Likewise, we can always have a pillow or blocks here if we find having the forehead on the floor is not comfortable. We'll seal everything in with those three deep breaths, that deep inhale, that deep exhale, deep inhale, and exhale. Repeating that as many times as we need, staying in child's pose for as long as we need. Because that is it for now, my lovelies. Stay balanced.